Good morning, afternoon, evening. This is the One Man Militia, and I'm here to do another unboxing. What I'm about to unbox is a unicorn of firearms. Um, this particular firearm was made only in 1997. Um, I did not know that this model existed until when I saw it online um, about a week and a half ago. This is the Smith & Wesson TSW 4056. Um, as I open up the box, we're going to go through the paperwork first. And first thing I have is my receipt for paying for the FFL transfer service because this arm was purchased online and went through a gun store. This is the receipt from the gun store. A second piece of paper is the receipt from the website that I uh, purchased it from. And at the time in 1997, this particular firearm cost about $844. That's the MSRP. Um, I did get it for six nine. I mean, five ninety nine. And um, overall, it was a little over seven hundred dollars with all the fees, taxes, and etc. Paid for it. And this uh, piece of paper here is something that was just. I guess it was just in the. Um, the um, box here, but apparently this is from the um, previous owner that applied for their FFL transfer from the ATF, uh, Department of Justice, and it's just explaining that they applied for the FFL transfer and that they got it. Now on to the firearm, we're going to do a safety check first, and then we'll go ahead and go through the firearm. This is... Uh, empty magazine you can see straight through it and you can see that the action is empty as well and also the blue follower in the magazine to show that it's an empty magazine but basically I'll go ahead and put it together but this is an empty firearm see. the um, Smith & Wesson 4056 TSW. Basically, this is a three and a half inch barrel. Uh, this is considered compact. Um, it does have the stainless steel frame here. Um, it used to have this um, plastic Smith & Wesson um, curve back strap grip on it but um, when I did purchase this firearm I got on Amazon and I purchased the whole rubber hand grip immediately so when I went to pick up the firearm I took the whole rubber hand grips with me and the uh, gun store was nice enough to put it on for me and so this is it in its glory uh, it is in excellent condition. Um, I didn't see any scratches on it. I know it has been fired at least once in its lifetime, but this thing looks in excellent condition. I mean, the magazine even looks pretty good here as well. It doesn't look all scratched up, dropped around. Writing is not rubbed off anything like that. But basically, the uh, Smith & Wesson 4056, like I say, this is the TSW model, so it does have all the tricked out internal parts. It's got the uh, black trigger. It does have the three-dot fixed white sights here. Um, it is a recoil-operated semi-automatic. And um, basically, this was made only in 1997. Um, so this is a unicorn, uh, one of the unicorns in the collection. Um, it does have a 10 round capacity. And I really don't have a whole lot of information on this particular firearm, but if you refer back to some of my other uh, videos about the uh, 40 caliber, and I did kind of mention about the, um, ex 
how the 40 caliber came into existence from the uh, Miami Dade shootout. But I did shoot a video about um, previous 40 calibers, and I do include some uh, full size, like the 4006. I do have three of the uh, 4013s as well. Um, but that is pretty much it. The uh, Smith and Wesson 4056 TSW. Please like and subscribe. Um, please uh, leave comments. Like I said, I do learn from everyone's comments. If you know anything about this uh, firearm that I didn't mention about it, um, I am willing to uh, listen. Um, please teach me as well. Um, this is the One Man Militia. Thank you for your time. And you all have a very blessed day or night.